Datuk Sri Ko Teng Tong. Embarked on his journey as an entrepreneur at the tender age of 15. From his hometown of Kuala Kurau in Malaysia, he worked laboriously in the fishery and seafood processing sector. By the 1970s, his business had expanded tremendously and he was into exporting frozen seafood to Europe and Australia. Dato Sirikor's hard work and vision provided thousands of jobs and educational opportunities for his fellow villages, cementing his reputation as a successful entrepreneur in the seafood industry. He did not rest on his laurels. Instead, at the height of his success in the 1980s, he made the bold decision to diversify into the property development sector in Penang. With minimal funds, he established Hansa Properties by focusing on developing projects in Penang. Subsequently, he continued his expansion in property development by churning out luxury apartments and condominiums, enriching Hansa's portfolio. In 2000, Hansa Properties Berhad was successfully listed on the main board of Bursa Malaysia, becoming one of the first few Malaysian property developers to do so after the 1997 major financial crisis. Through the years, Hansa Properties had completed more than 10,000 units of houses, shop houses, condominiums, apartments and low-cost flats. Hansa Properties grew from property development to real estate investment. Gurney Paragon Mall is the first shopping mall built, owned and managed by Hansa Properties, signifying the company's diversification into real estate investment. In 2016, Hansa Properties underwent a privatization exercise to restructure the company. Under Dato Sri Kaur's visionary leadership, Hansa Properties became a prominent name with a prolific portfolio of properties as well as real estate investment, including Alila II luxurious condominiums. The Gurney Paragon development, which encompasses luxury residences, a shopping mall, office, and the multiple award-winning St. Joe's Heritage Building. The award-winning Infinity Condominiums, Banda Putra Burda. Future projects in the pipeline include the 35-acre Juru Mixed Development and the multi-billion ringgit Penang International Commercial City, PICC. I believe in hard work and talent. Human resources is an important asset to the company. We give our employees continual training to sharpen their skills and compete with the world market. Today, we have grown 17 leaders to be in the management team. Hansa is one of the first companies in Penang to give retirement gratuity to the employee. We are guided by our core values and corporate mission to do things the right way. Coming from a poor background, Dato Sri Kaur and his family went through their earlier days with much hardship. This is why, as a developer, he vowed never to put others through such a distressing experience and made it his personal mission to ensure that social woes such as squatter issues are resolved amicably. Under his leadership, Hansa Properties was one of the first developers to introduce a one-for-one -one unit compensation plan in Penang to ensure that the less fortunate are elevated to a better quality of life. Dato Sri Kaur firmly believes that education will elevate the lives of the less fortunate and to carry this through, he established the KTT Education Fund managed by a non-profit organization. In association with the Penang Siaman Friendship Association, he organized education fairs and through a partnership with Hua Chiao University, this Master in Physical Education degree was offered to private secondary school teachers. 
This is his way of walking the talk that giving back to the people is one of Hamza's corporate missions of contributing to society. Our group founder has laid a solid foundation for Hansa. His determination and visionary approach have made Hansa a leading developer in Malaysia. Hansa will continue to progress to roll out the best product to our customers. We shall compete the world and bring Hansa to the next level. With our team, I'm confident that we can do it. In Hansa, I have worked with the founder the longest. With his vast experience, he anticipates every single possibility that sometimes we overlook. He has powerful business acumen, he is sharp in his decision makings, and he is definitely my role model. I practiced law before joining Hansa. The switch of industry was a challenge. Dadosri's entrepreneurial success has always been the source of motivation to all of us. Hence, I've grown over the years. His never-ending quest for excellence has turned Hansa into a prominent name. We never stop creating values and stretching our boundaries. Hansa, indeed, is a leading brand of quality as proven in the industry. Datuk Sri Khao's achievement did not happen overnight, but began in fishery industry. Since young, his topic of conversation with us is always about business. You can sense his passion for work. After going through years of hardship, his success is recognized by all walks of life. We are so proud of him and his great accomplishments. I'm proud and honored by the awards. 2014 Malaysia Property Man and 2017 the World Chinese Nighttime Achievement Award. Besides property development and shopping mall, we will enter into the medical service, BBO office and hotel sector. We wish to contribute to the service industry and boost the economy of Penang and Malaysia. Hansa have a very good prospects as a service industry is the way of the future. Wohen Yong Sing 2014 Yong Ho Malaysia Sanye Fong Ying Jan Wu 2017 世界华人终身成就奖是未来的旧事